In this video series, we're going to dive deeper into factoring quadratics and solving. So remember, when we're doing this, you want to get each one in factored form first. In order to do that, you want to make sure that it is equal to zero and then set each factor equal to zero to solve. So if I look at this first example, 3x squared plus 22x equals negative 35. Well, negative 35 is not zero. So we're going to have to make it zero by adding 35 to both sides. So I get x squared, 3x squared plus 22x plus 35 equals zero. And so if I take a look, there is no GCF between all three terms. It is a trinomial, but it starts out with 3x squared, which means a does not equal 1. And so that means we use our ac approach. So we take a times c, which is 3 times 35, which is going to give me 105. And so you want two factors of 105 that add up to 22. And if I were to go through, those numbers would be positive 15 and a positive 7. And so what we do is we split the B term. We split the 22x into positive 15x plus 7x. And you're going to keep the a term the same and keep the constant the same. And then now you factor by grouping. If you were to group the first two terms together, they have a GCF of 3x. And you're left with x plus 5. If you're to group the last two terms together, you get a positive 7. And it leaves you with an x plus 5. So now to complete the factoring by grouping technique, they both have an x plus 5 in common. So I can factor that out. And I'm left with a 3x plus 7. And so those are my two factors. So this is my factored form. Now, in order to solve, remember, you set each factor equal to 0. So I'm going to take 3x plus 7. I'm going to set it equal to 0. Subtract 7. And divide by 3. I have x plus 5. I'm going to set it equal to 0 and solve. So subtract 5. x is negative 5. And so my answer, my final answer, is x equals negative 7 thirds and x equals negative 5. So get it into factored form, set each factor equal to 0, and solve. Let's look at example number 8. I'll go ahead and slide this down from the other example. So if I have 9x squared plus 16 equals negative 24x, this is not equal to 0. I need to get it equal to 0. And so the way I would do that is I would add 24x. Now don't fall for the trick. Don't do, okay, 9x squared plus 16 plus 24x. Don't do that. It's not in standard form that way. Remember, standard form says ax squared plus or minus bx plus or minus c, your quadratic, then your linear, then your constant. So when you add the 24x, you need to put it between these two terms. So you actually have 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. Same idea, you want to do your ac method here because there are no there's no common factor. There's no GCF between all three terms. So this is a trinomial. It starts off with 9x squared, which means a is not 1. So you use your AC method. And so we're going to take a times c, which is 9 times 16, 
which is 144. Now you want two factors of 144 that have a sum of 24. So that should be easy. I mean, multiply to give you 144, add to give you 24, that's 12 and 12. And so what you do is you split the B term. We're going to split the B term into our positive 12x and our positive 12x. And we're going to keep our A term. We have our 9x squared, and we have our positive 16. All we do is split the B into our factors, and then factor by grouping. If I look at what's the GCF for the first two terms, they have a 3x in common. I'd be left with a 3x plus 4. If I look at the GCF for the last two terms, they have a 4 in common. So you're left with 3x plus 4. Finish the factoring by grouping, your parentheses are the same, so you can factor that out, 3x plus 4. And on the outside, you have another 3x plus 4. So remember what we learned. Don't just follow the pattern and think you're done. It's the same exact factor, 3x plus 4 times 3x plus 4. So remember, that means you have 3x plus 4 squared equal to 0. So there's your completely factored form. To find the solutions, you set it equal to 0. 3x plus 4 equals 0. Subtract 4. 3x is negative 4. And then divide by 3. x is negative 4 thirds. Remember what we said. When this occurs, this, this solution, this root, this x-intercept, it's called a double root because it occurs twice. And what would happen, I'm not going to pull out the calculator, just know, you know, negative 4 thirds. You know, so here's negative 1. Here's negative 2. You know, it's a positive A value, so it's opening upwards. What would happen is at negative 4 thirds, I mean, your graph's opening upwards. It's going to go come down, come down, come down. But once it hits that 0, because it occurs twice, because it's the same factor, it is going to bounce off and go back. And so that tells us, when you see it bounce off, that it is a double root. So in this video series, we kind of refreshed our memory on how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. And in both of these examples, we used our AC method for this. And you follow the same process. Make sure it's equal to 0. Factor. Set each factor equal to 0 and solve.